Yes. E Love you. Uh. Hello everyone. Ah, it's good to see you guys again. Welcome back to our channel. Uh, today I'm um, a beautiful wife here. We will be baking. We'll be baking rather a drumstick chicken. Make sure you uh, <coughs> follow us through and see how we add up the recipe and all that. Do you want to say anything? Or do you have anything so to say? this is a whole different one. We're going to cook it because a lot of the other videos they don't cook it. So we we'll cook it slightly because we'll be baking yeah. it in a stainless pan, I think. Um, this is our recipe. It doesn't have to be, you know, professional recipe, but it's our kitchen, so we we'll do whatever. <laughs> yes. So just stay tuned and watch and follow the process how we're gonna uh, take off the back of the chicken, uh, right? And uh, you know, kind yeah. of cook it. We're peeling the um, the skin. We normally buy the ones that are skinless, boneless, but this time we went for the cheap one. <laughs> yeah, we're trying, we're trying something different. Not like we went for the cheap one, so, you know. Yeah, but we're trying something different and see how it goes. And I'm sure you guys are gonna like it and also enjoy it. You know, stay tuned. That's how the drum stick looks like. So what we're gonna do is to take out each and every one of them. Of course, we're gonna wash it. Yeah, just to make this easy for me and for everyone, I just take out the skin of the chicken. Yeah, I mean you can use scissors uh, or knife, whatever works best for you. So right now, this works best work for me. I just grab it and boom, take it out. So it looks easy for me. There we go. Mm, that's my super money. That's it. So, when you want, you want to get some scissors and slice it out, but you know, whatever works for you, whatever best works for you. So, I'm just going to chop some onions just to, um, so I can use it to cook the actual meat. Alright, we already washed this about three times with some salt and lemon. Just gonna go ahead and put it in the pots to cook. So I'm gonna do is to have the meat cooked. Some people like it cooked, some people just go ahead and bake it like that with the ingredients. But how we do ours, we go ahead and cook it. So I added one teaspoon of salt. So the, so the next is gonna be my habanero pepper. You can get a habanero pepper. You can so, also use scotch bonnet. Or you can also use scotch bonnet. So just grab half of this and you know kind of sprinkle it. I'm just gonna grab my Maggie kill. You know, just throw up this is good. I think some people call it billion billion cube too. Billion cube, right? Oh, seasoning cube. There we go. So. I'm just gonna grab my rose. <laughs> That's me. Yeah. <laughs> Can you just sprinkle it about just when you go to death? So you open your time. Yeah. Pop of it. You're good. Also get your like a garlic powder. Just spicing it up, you know. Add on one seasoner. I mean, you can just spice it up just like you want it, you know? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. So, you also have your curry. Mm. Also, half teaspoon of it. Yeah, basil, we add that. Also, have ginger. Spray some ginger in it, you know? So, you can grab some bay leaf, you know? It depends on the quantity. So, for me, I'm just gonna add two of it or three of it. You're good. So once you got all this added, so basically you don't add water to it, you just let it pop up or rather steam its own water, you know. Add the tonic and uh, let the mixture go down and just put it on the gas for like 15 to um, max 15 minutes, you're good, you know. So there we go. So just gonna turn up the gas and wait for it. Give it some time and that's it. So while the meat is getting ready, we're not gonna let it fully get done. We'll just go ahead and put our ingredients, some onion powder, um, paisley flakes and oregon, black pepper, cayenne, paprika, and probably half of this um, seasoning cube. 
some sauce and a little bit of pepper. So I'm gonna be putting half half spoon of everything because I don't like too much sauce anyway. We're preparing it on this plate. Mm -hmm. So this is like um, onion powder, probably just one spoon, one teaspoon of it. And the paisley, normally I just like to sprinkle it on top, but um, there's no harm in just pouring half spoon of it. <laughs> well, spoon. I'm just so used to pouring everything in it. We're only doing the measurement because of the video. Some Oregon leaves. And then the black pepper. That's a half spoon of it. Cayenne pepper. I'm making a one spoon of paprika. Paprika gives it its color, make it a little brownish. One teaspoon of it. A little bit of salt. Just a little bit. And one medium peel, mighty peel. One Maggie cake. I just like to put a little bit of curry, even if I shouldn't, doesn't matter. Just a little bit of everything. Oh, I still like the ginger and the garlic, and that'll be all. Mm. A little bit of just a sprinkle the ginger and the garlic. Yeah, I think that should go with. And then we just get ready to take down the um, take down the meat, the chicken, so that it doesn't really overdone. All right, guys, it's 15 minutes already. Let's see what we have here. What's cooking? Awesome. And so, we never even added any water. So you can see this is the steam from the uh, from the chicken and boil its own water. So that's good enough. So what you're gonna do is just gonna pick each. And every one of these, so you already have your no, but seasoning ready. Yeah. So you already have your seasoning ready, so you just take this out, you just grab your seasoning and uh, kind of mix it and you're ready to Catching go. the culprit. Culprit is eating our food, our chicken. So what we did was to turn on the um, oven. We're going to be doing that between 300 to 350. Mm. Turn it on so we'll be getting hot before we finish seasoning. The spices. So I'm putting some vegetable oil on the chicken so it will make the seasoning stick. I also probably put a little bit on the pan. Instead of using the foil, the foil make it look as crispy as I want, but it's healthier to use the pan, I guess. So these are the spices. It's like this because I added the, a little bit of the scotch, um, the habanero pepper. So what we do is we blend it and then we put it. We blend it and put it in the freezer. So that will be easier to just use. That's a little one, and this is so much better. It looks like the chicken is a whole lot. This chicken is plenty of the spice, but we don't want to do too much because of the kids. The older one likes the baked chicken. As hot as can be. Oh. Much, just keep it more crispy. No, just keep it on the table. And I don't think this would be enough, so I guess I have to do the 
fall also. Trying to space it out. This will not be enough. So I'm gonna get it forward and we'll be right back. So this is what it turned out to be right before I put it in the oven. We didn't do too much because it's already half cooked. And then we'll put some in the fall because it didn't contain the that's about how many drums take though. So that's what it looks like, and then we're gonna put it in the oven. That looks so beautiful. That one. Yeah. Alright. Go ahead and put it. Normally, before we, when we weren't doing the half cooked part, we just we cover it with the foil for like 30 minutes and then let it out. But now that we cook, we do half cook. We just leave it open. And then we leave it for about 20 minutes and then turn it. Okay, so this is like 15 minutes later. You can see with the iron pan, it's dried off most of it, but this one has some, what do you call it? So I'm going to drain the fluid. That's it, this one, the other way, and then trying to flip this one also. Flip it the other way. This has been 30 minutes, so I'll go back again for probably under 30 minutes. And I probably will increase this. I'm burning under there, but not fully cooked. And I see this is separating because it was pre cooked, so, but I don't mind. Alrighty guys, here we are and we are done with the chicken. You can see how it looks like and it looks great. I can't wait to test one of these. I'll show you the right. We already ate some. <laughs> we already ate some. Make sure you like and uh, subscribe and also share this video and also leave a comment down if this helps you to make your own chicken. Good chicken. All right, thank you. We loved it. See you on the next video. Bye. Bye. You crap one. <laughs>